are now tuned in to Shotgun Sports USA, powered by Winchester. Recorded in the U.S. and streaming all over the world, your host, Justin Barker, talks to shotgun shooters from all disciplines, championship-winning coaches, gun clubs, world-class target setters, vendors, and industry-leading companies that fuel the sport. If you're into clay target sports, you're at the right place for insider information from some of the best in the world every single week. Subscribe to our podcast, leave us a review, and connect with us on social media. You can also catch our episodes on ShotgunSportsUSA.com. This is a quick introduction to Claythorne Lodge in southeast Kansas where the 2021 U.S. Open will be held. Frida Lancaster joins me and we talk about all of the details that you may want to know. Welcome to the show, Frida. How are you? I'm doing fine tonight. How are you doing? I'm great. Uh, I want to talk about Claythorne and the upcoming U.S. Open, which I'm excited about. Yeah, coming right up on us. It is. So there's a lot of history with Claythorne. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people that, you know, you need to really find out about Claythorne. And and I kind of want to get into that. How was the club started? Well, you know, Sam uh, had a business uh, building recreational vehicles and sold that business and for a hobby decided to buy this farm and have a preserve hunting. In fact, we created Kansas Outfitters at that time, our corporation called Kansas Outfitters Inc. Mm -hmm. And in 1992, we discovered the game of throwing clay targets. And so that's where we got into the clay target business. Uh, at, at the beginning, uh, Dean Caton from Southern Ranch down by Oklahoma City was our first course designer. And then Neil Chag- Chadwick uh, stepped in after that and designed some of our later courses. So that's been 30 years. We're going on 30 years, uh, 2021. So how, has the place grown? Oh, my goodness, yes. We started out with just a fallen down farmhouse. And, uh, you know, built on that, changed the old barn into a pro shop and then built the conference building. And and it just continues, you know, the bunkhouse we redid down at the um, grounds. We built a maintenance barn. And then, of course, last year we built the target storage shed. So there's always something that we have continued to expand. Right. How many acres is, is does the club sit on? This piece of property is 280, but for the U.S. Open, we uh, lean into Kansas Wildlife and Parks and uh, use theirs, and so we design the U.S. Open on about 600 acres. Wow! And it takes every bit of it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. To, we'll, we'll get into the U.S. Open in a second. Another thing uh-huh. that I have heard about Claythorne is that you have an A team when you host big shoots, and this A team. Yeah is what makes these shoots so fantastic. Can you kind of go into that just a little bit? Well, my goodness, we do have the best best there is. Uh, the A-team has started off, of course, Pete Mash, uh, you know, was on that when he could travel uh, away from the grounds. And and um, we have, of course, Neil Chadwick, Brent Fleming, Rod Scheida has always been on, Jason Minky, we had Hugh Sosby. Uh, so many good people from the start have helped that 2000 Open. And after that, you know, they kept, we just used that, that group of good people, you know, for, for all of our shoots after that, which, of course, was the 2006, the 2003 uh, World, and then the mm-hmm. 2014, and now, again, um, coming right up. Yep, 2021. So, so mm-hmm. how's the terrain there? What, what are the people that are going to be showing up to the U.S. Open? What are they going to be shooting over? Well, lots of... Uh, green especially this spring right but it's a strip pit land a lot of it's reclaimed most of it's original strip pits that's oh, this beautiful lake areas uh, so a lot of times you're shooting from off of a, a bluff um, but also over water many instances and uh, so it, it's a pretty pretty setting when it gets green yeah what, does claythorne hold any other activities other than sporting shoots well, of course, we have the hunting, and then we have lots of fundraisers for different organizations. 
And a lot of people uh, schedule dinners out here. We have uh, meeting facilities too. Mm-hmm. So, you do all and, kind of uh, stuff. Lodging. Mm-hmm. Lodging. All right. So, talk about your lodging. I know you said earlier bunkhouse. Is there lodging on ground? Right. We do. We have 17 beds uh, in our different buildings. Where are you located? I know you're in Kansas and you're in southeast Kansas, but what? Right. Where are you at? We're actually, uh, extreme southeast Kansas. We are probably 30 miles from the Missouri border and about 30 miles from the Oklahoma border. Okay. So uh, next to Pittsburgh, Joplin, Miami, Oklahoma, and Parsons, Kansas, on the north side of us. Right. So when people visit for the U.S. Open in a couple of weeks, what cities do they need to be looking at for hotels, restaurants, airports, stuff like that? You know, it, it's really a complete circle. So, you know, if you reach uh, one direction, it's Parsons, Kansas, and then it's Pittsburgh, Kansas, and you flow around to Joplin, Missouri, mm-hmm. and then complete the circuit with Miami, Oklahoma, which includes a lot of casinos when you get down into the Oklahoma area. And they're all just about 35 minutes away, 35 miles. We're not in the city, so it's just travel time uh, on the roads. Right. It's, it's kind of like Clay Thorns right in the middle of nowhere, but it's close. That's to about, that's, we've been called that many times, <laughs> but it's close, <laughs> but it's close enough to, to everything, you know? Oh yes. Uh, lots of hotels, lots of hotels. And you mentioned to me, I think it was a couple of weeks ago that you had some, you're talking about casinos. There's a casino that a lot of the shooters are staying at. Where is that at? Downstream. Uh, it's just, 35 miles. Uh, it's sitting next to my uh, Joplin, Missouri, but it's actually on the Oklahoma side. So uh, that's why it can be a casino on the Oklahoma side. It's an Indian casino, but there's also, I'm going to say seven more right there, you know, in the Miami commerce area. So now Kansas has a casino on the Pittsburgh side called Kansas Crossing. So even going north here, there's another casino with a Hampton sitting right next to it. Sounds like a little fun could be happening up there in Kansas mm-hmm. and Oklahoma. You could, you could uh, make some money or spend some money. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, so you were supposed to have the Open at Claythorne in 2020. And, of course, right. with the pandemic and everything that happens, uh, you had to move forward to 2021. So you've been uh-huh. planning this shoot for two years, basically. Oh my goodness, it's been it's been really challenging. I, I mean, it sounds maybe like oh good they had two years, but it's really not been a good thing. You know, many people signed up at the beginning, which through that two and a half year time, they found you know had many things come up like uh, well health issues, weddings, graduations, the COVID. You know, that still uh, stopped a lot of people from wanting to travel. And, of course, all the English and the Canadians, they had to cancel out. They still can't travel. The shortage of ammo has been a, a problem for people to practice and, and not getting their number of targets needed to stay in class. So all that's been challenging to not just Claythorne but to shooters because we've lost probably over 300 shooters during this time. And um, that's, you know, just a lot of work to send people back refunds and try to keep squatting, you know, in order. I'm, I'm sure squatting has been a nightmare and, and everything mm-hmm. else. I'm, you know, everyone mm-hmm. was ready to go in 2020 and then they couldn't. Yep. And now it's 2021. So uh, does that mean that you have more spots available now for the open or does that? Or have well, they it's continued, up? you know, as, as people canceled, people would go in. So I know we're still, you know, around a thousand in the main event and a little bit over for total. Right. Um, which is good. You know, I, I think there's a lot of people still maybe on the waiting list for fee task, but spots do open up every day and especially on a Monday, Tuesday. Mm-hmm. And so there's and plenty of space in the main event. So, I mean, it's not too late at all to, to, uh, sign up. Yeah. All right. What plans have changed from 20 to 21? I know something has had to have, it had to have changed Goodness, I don't know. I know it just takes more rock every time, you know, it rains. <laughs> so uh, we've continued, you know, to bring in rock. And I don't know. I think I don't know that anything's changed that much. Uh, of course, maybe it's changed in the fact that we had to keep up with ammo, whether you could get ammo in here mm-hmm. for for the shoot. Um, also, the, the change in whether you had to have the 
a required amount of targets and whether you could shoot reloads or, or you know, if you had to have new am ammo. So all those things, you know, we've had to deal with the constant change uh, in just trying to deal with the pandemic. Yeah. Ammo is always a big topic. It's been, it's been a big topic for a long time now. How is yes. your ammo situation going to be for the open? Are you going to have enough ammo well, it, for everybody? It, or? Well, I would, I would certainly hope so. Right. You know, we, we have platinum sponsors with uh, not just Winchester, but Federal and Remington and Fiocchi. Mm -hmm. So they're all platinum sponsors, and I know they're doing their very best to get their ammo in here. Winchester, of course, has came through in a big way. So we've, we've got lots of ammo. We've got four containers sitting full of ammo. So, you know, it might not be exactly what they normally shoot, but, but it's all very good ammo that's sporting Right. Speaking mm. of Winchester, I do know that everyone's favorite one ounce loads will be there, including the twelve ninety seven and a half yeah. and the new one ounce twelve fifty double A's and seven and a half and eights. You know, we, we do have quality ammo here. Right. So and I plenty of it will probably, you know, limit it to what they're shooting just to make sure that we we do not run out. I mean nobody probably can come up and buy ten cases, but but I think uh we should have plenty of ammo. All right. The target setters. Everyone always asks yes. the target. Who are the target setters? What courses are they setting? Kind of go into that. Well, who your target setters You are. know, I, I guess I don't, I probably can't remember, but Neil Chadwick, Brent Fleming, Nathan Souder, uh, Nate Peterson, Jason Menke, Drew Ricketts, all those people, which most people are familiar with. I think they all were at nationals last year. So it's, it's that same crew that does an excellent job of setting a target that that is um, shootable and and yet not overwhelming. So I know they'll design them so that people will will have an enjoyable shoot. Vendors, you're going to have vendors there. Oh uh, my goodness, yes. <laughs> you know, the, I'll tell you this: the first U.S. Open I went to, I think, was at Big Red Oak in Georgia. And uh -huh. I was just blown away by the, the number of vendors that were there. Right. I, I mean, right. it's like nationals. I mean, there's vendors everywhere. Who do you have coming? Well, of course, our, um, our lead sponsor is Kohler and Elite Shotgun. So, of course, they're going to be here. Mm -hmm. uh, Kriegoff International is bringing in a building. So, they'll be here with their uh, gun uh, people to help fix the gun. We've got Browning Winchester. Jim Greenwood will be here. Mm -hmm. Uh, CZ USA, Briley, Mech, Mark Gadball, Shells R Us, uh, Federal Remington, Fiocchi, White Flyer, Rainier Shotgun Sports, Beretta USA, Mueller Chokes, Blazer, Woolley Shooting Clinics, Caesar Garini, uh, Needing Hands, I think um, Rick Fleming, uh, Hemingway will be here with, uh, with Backwoods mm -hmm. to it. Uh, help people sign up for the 2022 mm -hmm. and cross Creek plays is going to be here. I hope I haven't forgot anybody, but <laughs> it, it's going to be a, a good lineup of vendors. I think wasn't now Frida wasn't Rick supposed to have the open in 21, but he moved it yes. to 22. Yes. Yes. We were so thankful that, uh, that he did say he would, uh, move his to 2022. It, right. it, you know, I don't know how 21 would have happened. If it would have happened, stepped on somebody in September, we would have stepped on one of the regionals. So it just worked out for everybody that it moved yeah. to 21. And I mean, as far as Sam and I, we would love to have had it behind us. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Did it coming right up on us, but uh, but we're looking forward to it. One One thing that I like to see when I go to a shoot is a lot of food. Now, yeah. are you going to have some of those people there too? We are. We've got a fish and chips guy, a barbecue guy, the Hershey's ice cream stand, oh. hamburgers, mm. um, and two more. I, you know, there's one that's got some different salads and think, and then there's one that will do curly fries and, and all kinds of, so plenty of food. And Jackie in our kitchen is also going to be frying hamburgers. So mm. uh, I would think, There'll be a, a lot of choices. So go over the dates when the open's going to be for someone that may not know uh, when it is. Uh, June seventh to thirteenth. On the seventh is our first. Uh, the fee task starts on the seventh, 
and then the rest of the events will uh, lead off after that, the 8th, 9th, 10th. The main event, of course, is uh, 11, 12, 13. Side yeah. events? You're going to have the make or break, the long bird, all that stuff? Mm-hmm. In fact, we've got uh, Crossland Construction bringing those great big uh, lifts in again. So we have that uh, uh, high skeet game, you know, with the, the targets that are way in the air. So they'll be bringing those machines in here. Mm-hmm. And um, then, of course, we've got uh, the Freedom Cup, which is a prelim, uh, which then turns into a super sporting uh, event. Mm -hmm. We've got the 20 and 28 gauge fee task and, and the 100 bird five stand. And then the new event, which it's not going to be a registered event, uh, is sponsored by Beretta, and that's the fundraiser for Team USA. So it's going to be a 100 bird event that's going to start on the Monday. And every day will change just a little, and we're going to have a course designer change it each day, and they will send out hopefully a text and let people know who does, who changed it, and they can every time you shoot it, your name will go in a hat for a drawing for a Beretta gun, a, a nice Beretta gun, and also um, it will cost eighty five dollars, and forty dollars of that goes to the Team USA for their travel. I was just about to ask that. So 40 bucks for every shooter that signs up can help Team USA get overseas. Goes to Team USA. Right. Good, good. We need to get those guys over there and, and, and bring right. one home. So that's Right, and, and that's not a, a, a schedule. I mean, it's not a pre-squatted event. So anytime anybody has some time, they want to go shoot that 100-target event. It'll be set up on our B course, which is a really pretty course around the water. Good. So hopefully, uh, hopefully people will have time to go shoot that. Yeah. So the registration, people that are registered and need to change something before the shoot or people that aren't right. people that aren't registered and want to register, where, where do they go to do that or who should they call? Well, call here. Uh, WinScore, if they're wanting to change registration, it's best just to call here. And we'll, Lois will be here back in the office starting Thursday again. Mm -hmm. And and she is she took back over the squatting. And uh, so she will get them fixed up. You know, and that's the best way. Just call here. We'll get them. If they want it new to register, they can go to WinScore online. But if they need to change registration, they should call here and we'll get them in touch with Lois. Is there anything people should make sure they have when they show up to your open? Well, the way it's been raining, I would say bring your boots. All right. <laughs> Uh, so a raincoat, you know, bug spray, sunscreen, just like always. You know, I would think most people are prepared when they go to a shoot with, with those uh, things in tow. So, give me your web address, your phone number, and throw in your your physical address so that people have that also. Okay, uh, claythornlodge dot com, mm -hmm. and uh, Claythorn Lodge on Facebook also. All right. Uh, the address is thirteen twenty nine Northwest One Hundredth, Columbus, Kansas six six seven two five. And our phone number is 620-597-2568. And that's the number to call if you want to change something, have any questions. Right, right. Make sure you give them a call. Well, Frida, I just wanted to have you on real quick to go over this. I know you're excited that it's here. All 1,000 shooters plus are excited that it's here. I can't wait yes. to get up there. I've never been to Kansas. Well, so I'm ready. To I tell come. you, our whole community is excited about it. So, you know, we've got all of our communities involved in this, the city of Joplin, the CVBs all around. So it is a, a big event for this little rural area. Yeah. Well, I'm glad that it's happening and everyone else is too. I'm excited to come and, and see everyone. Well, and, thank you. And uh, thank you for, for calling me. Yeah. And looking forward to, to seeing Claythorne. <laughs> that's, uh, that's okay. Well, uh, if anybody needs anything, you just give me a call. At that same number. Frida, thank you for your time, and I'll see you in okay. a couple weeks. Okay. Thanks.